Now to People's Millions, where you help decide who wins up to £50,000 in big lottery money. Details of yesterday's winner coming up in a couple of minutes. But first, let's take a look at today's contenders after your vote. The first project is based at Little Paxton near St Neots in Cambridgeshire, where three of their four church bells haven't rung for more than a century. Well, what we want to do is get the bells ringing again. They haven't rung for over a hundred years. The wooden frame that, that they're hanging in, which was built before the 1700s, is just not strong enough t to take the ringing. It will be, it's okay for chiming because that doesn't put such a, a strain on the frame. It's an ancient monument in its own right, so we'll be preserving that, but we'll put a new steel frame up and increase the bells from four to six, because that's much better for, for ringers. And we'll also restore this lovely clock that's up here and um, just make the, the tower much better for ringing. You get a, a really fantastic sound. You can play tunes on it then. I think the bells should be restored because it would be nice to hear the bells at Christmas and Easter. I think the bell should be restored for, like, baptisms to say, like, new babies have been born in the village. I'd like to hear the bells at weddings and things like that. I think it would be brilliant to hear the bells ringing when the children are in school. Brilliant for the community, especially as we have a growing community here in Little Paxton. And perhaps one day some children would come and actually be the bell ringers here too. We've got a group of people from the village who are learning to ring uh, in a tower at Eaton Socombe, which is a few miles from here. So they're learning in another tower, but they can't wait to get their hands on our re-hung bells and, and obviously ring them for us here. It's something that the village needs. It's something that you want to wake up on a Sunday morning and hear those bells ringing, just to have that positive thing, you know, to hear them ringing again after all these years. Brilliant. Up against them tonight is the Northampton and Lamport Railway Preservation Society. They want People's Millions money to restore the only WN Alchin steamroller left in the world. Remember, you'll be able to vote for the project you'd like to see get the money in just a moment. The Society is about preserving some of the old railway stock. The railway line was actually opened in 1995, so it's been doing steam train rides and diesel rides ever since then. It was faster than um, I would expect it to be. It doesn't have a powered engine, but, um, it, and it's much louder than the electric trains that, that we have today. <laughs> Very precious to Northampton and Wellingborough. They're really old, so and they make good history. The steamroller is one, the only one of its kind in this country. So it's it's something we've got to build up. It's Northampton's heritage. If we if we can get this this uh, roller back in steam, uh, the children can then be part of the history of, of the past of times gone by. I can remember seeing this this steam wagon uh, when it used to lead the carnival when I was a small child and the dad used to take me to the carnival, and this was always in the lead, you know, so it'd be lovely to see it built again and back on the road again. £50,000 is what we, we need to actually get the roller restored uh, so that it's all boiler tested, etc. And at the top of the field uh, over the, the back uh, behind you uh, is where we're going to have a building set up where the roller can be actually kept and put back together again and completed. Now's your chance to vote for the project you'd like to see win the money. To vote for... But what about last night's winner? Let's see which project won your votes. <laughs> Ali in Corby, where they want to build a specialist area for young people with disabilities to take part in skateboarding, BMX and inline skating. They were up against the Future for Kids project in Luton, aimed at getting youngsters into car and motorcycle maintenance as a stepping stone to college education. 
So which was the lucky winner? Well, as usual, we've dispatched our very own Natalie Gray with a surprise check. I'm in Corby, and I've come to surprise tonight's winners, Adrenaline Alley. Now, they run an urban sports centre, and they want to expand it to accommodate disabled children. And some of those children are in class today at Corby Business Academy. Let's go and see them. Hello, everybody. Excuse us bursting in. We've got a really big surprise for you. This is a present of nearly £44,000 so that you guys can do BMX, skateboarding, yeah. online skating, all those exciting things. What do you think about that? Hey, big cheer. Oh, it's absolutely amazing. It's just a dream come true for us. Uh, I'd just like to say thanks to everybody who voted for us. I like um, the bikes. The bikes? Are you going to try a bit of skateboarding now? I will be soon. Let me ask you, what do you think about them winning? Is it a big wow? Wow. Can you show me how to do wow? Wow. wow. Another winner from another part of our region tomorrow night. But for now, let's hear it for Adrenaline Alley. Yeah! <laughs> Oh, fantastic deserving cause, like all of the projects are, actually. Yeah, they are. I'm a bit concerned because, Amanda, I think you've actually stood by my car at the moment. There's a bit of snow on there. Is it true the first wintry blast is on its way? That's right, yes. Yeah. So we've certainly had some snowfall across the region. Just look at these pictures. Although it was that kind of sleet and wet snow coming across. But obviously with any snow at this time of year, with the frost, that could lead to some ice patches in places. Now, over the next few days, it's a similar story. We're going to see more sleet and snow, a bit like this here, but it's the weekend we're watching out for. We could see some significant snowfall, especially on Saturday and Sunday, and it's not looking too great as we go into next week either. So let's take a look at the those all important details. Pretty wintry weekend then. I helped mm -hmm. Amanda choose a hat today. Good choice. Yeah, I liked it. Okay. Yeah, and you've bought your thermals as well. <laughs> anyway, that's it from us. Bye. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye.